family, everybody. Well, our big topic today, the smart topic, seems to be how you react to those embarrassing moments that might happen out <laughs> in <it>. public. <laughs> Okay, so we've established that, you know, we don't have much control over the awkward moments that happen in life. But how do you handle them? How you do makes all the difference in the world. And joining us now is Diane Cycle. She is a consultant and a communications coach, and it's nice to have you with us Thank you. to add a little levity to all of this. And really, I mean, come on, things happen, right? Exactly. Yeah, so it's not like it's the first time for anybody on some awkward thing that, that goes on. So you've got several tips that can kind of help us. You know, when I'm thinking uh, as uh, just if you want to talk about an awkward moment that just happened, if you watch the Super Bowl, Christina Aguilera sang the wrong words to the national anthem. That was a big one. Uh, she could have fallen apart, but she didn't. Um, and so what are some of those tips you have for people? Well, for me, when I'm speaking to a group, and I make a mistake, sometimes I just have to laugh it off. And it's not like, oh, my God, I can't believe I just said that. Yeah. It's more like, <laughs> where did that come from? Right. And just keep moving, you yeah. know, because yeah. sometimes it's just, it just happens. Yeah. So earlier in the show, we talked about how um, an anchor had actually said, good afternoon, I'm Connie Cola, and that made me laugh. That same anchor has actually gone out and done a public speech with two different shoes on. <laughs> I love that. And they kept asking, would you like a podium? Would you like a podium? And she said, no, no, I don't need a podium. And then when she got off the stage, she realized why they were asking if she had a podium. And then she finally just laughed it off, and everybody thought it was funny. So if you can get up with two different shoes on in public, you, if you can laugh about it, everybody laughs with you is what you're saying. I think so. I think yeah. it's fabulous that she was willing to do that and then laugh about it. It gives other people permission to make mistakes as well yeah. or to just have an awkward moment yeah. and that's really your next tip admit the mistake just call it out yeah call it out and just say you know wow has that ever happened to you or wow <laughs> look what I did or said and just move on just yeah. keep on going through it okay and the next one is to, to is to say that you really have no control and I think sometimes that can happen with let's say bodily functions uh, where you really didn't you really obviously would not try to do that and didn't mean to do that but you had no control yeah so we absolutely have no control of what our body does and isn't that wonderful that's good news for power and control freaks that yes. our body does what it does and mm -hmm. we have no control over that okay what else give me another tip give me some some good nuggets <laughs> well I would just say that if you allow mercy and show mercy to other people that mm -hmm. are going through embarrassing moments or awkward moments that's really good karma because it might be your turn someday and to just look past what's what's happening and show a little mercy yeah your most embarrassing moment um, I have several. I, <laughs> I, I speak in front of groups and I say the wrong thing all the time and I just, I literally just laugh yeah, and yeah. say, where did that come from? Exactly. And move on. I love it. All right. Diane, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. It.